Good afternoon, folks. We've got two space weather items to discuss today. The solar flaring has not stopped, including another X-class flare, and now the solar wind disruptions are beginning to arrive. Complicating all of this, SOHO is still not updated, leaving us doing a bit of guesswork. Well, let's start with the solar wind. Up top, you see the amplification of plasma pressure around the Earth. From what appears to be, in the panels below, a slightly faster stream from one of the CMEs we had been expecting. We're still expecting the coronal hole stream within the next 24 hours, and geomagnetic disruptions are likely. Now on to the solar flaring. The second X-class flare of the day has erupted amidst many more M-class events. It was the third X-class blast in three days. Let's watch the last 16 hours of data here. There are events to note on both the north and the south. The largest flare up north may have lifted a faint CME. Hard to be sure. But on the south, it appears one of the flares sent coronal plasma upward. So that makes two potential CMEs, and here's where our problem lies. SOHO still has not updated, and we're now getting concerned about when it's coming back. Without it, the diagnosis of CMEs is complete guesswork. Now, Stereo A's coronagraph would help, but this one updates much more slowly, and we're still waiting for the afternoon data from this one. So where we are now, we may have more CMEs on the way. We'll be watching Stereo and Soho for any sign of an update. The coronal hole stream will arrive at any time in the next day, and we've got major sunspots still firing. Significant complexity to the active regions and a high chance of more flares. We've got eyes on it, and we'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.